Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand CSS border properties in depth. To apply a border around an HTML element, in the first step, we took 12 CSS border properties help. We took 3 CSS border properties and applied top border. We took 3 CSS border properties and applied right border. We took 3 CSS border properties and applied bottom border. We took 3 CSS border properties and applied left border. Later we asked a question ourselves. Is it possible to use less number of CSS border properties and apply border around an HTML element? Answer to that question we found. Yes, it is possible. We need to take help of CSS border shorthand properties. In the next step, what we did? In the next step, we took only one CSS border property and applied top border. We took only one CSS border property and applied right border. We took only one CSS border property applied bottom border. We took only one CSS border property and applied left border. Later again, we asked ourselves a question. Is it possible to take less number of CSS border properties than the four CSS border properties and apply a border around an HTML element? Answer to that question also we have found. The answer is yes. We took help of three CSS border properties. They are border width, border style, border color. We took only three CSS border properties and applied border around an HTML element. This is a code for that. You can see I have already opened the default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. In the body section, we have one div element. To this div, we have applied style. We applied background color sign and we took three border properties, border width, border style and border color applied a border around the div element. This is the output for that code. We have already opened default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. You can see that the div has a solid border which is of magenta color and 10 pixel thickness. Is it possible to use lesser than this number of CSS border properties and apply a border around an HTML element? Answer to that question is yes. We need to take help of CSS border shorthand property. CSS border property is used to specify the border thickness, style and color of an HTML element in a single line. Value to the CSS border property is space separated list of values. We have to give border width, space, border style, space, border color, semicolon. To the border width place, we have to give a length, fixed length unit, we have to use pixel. Then border style can be solid, double, dotted, dashed, groove, ridge, inset, outset, none, etc. Border color value can be a color name, hexadecimal color value, we can use RGB function, we can use transparent value. Let's see the demonstration and get a clear idea. I go to notepad, here I am going to say border shorthand property colon. First we have to give border width value. I am going to copy this, control X, control V. Then I have to give border style value. I am going to say control X space control V. Then we have to give border color value. I select this control X space control V semicolon. I select these three lines say delete. Now we are going to apply a border around the div which is of having 10 pixel width solid style magenta color. File save go to browser and refresh. You can see that there is no change. Now we are using only one CSS border property and applying the border around an HTML element. I change here to 20 pixel, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that now the border is having the 20 pixel thickness or width. As I told, we can apply different style of borders. First we have solid, we have already seen that. I am going to copy this double, paste here. I change the thickness to 10 pixel, file, save. Go to browser and refresh. You can see that we have double border now. Similarly, I copy the dotted, paste here, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see we have dotted border. This is how it looks. Next, we take dashed, paste here, file, save, go to browser and refresh. The dashed border looks something like this. Then copy, groove, 
paste here file save go to browser and refresh the groove border style looks something like a 3d border right next i copy inset paste here file save go to browser and refresh the inset border looks something like this at the top you have darker magenta color bottom you have lighter magenta color we can take help of outset value copy that paste here file save go to browser and refresh the outset flips the color you can see above you have lighter magenta down you have darker magenta color similarly we have none value i am going to copy the none value paste here file save go to browser and refresh the none value removes the border from the element you can see there is no border i am going to bring that back by giving the value solid file save go to browser and refresh we have 10 pixel solid magenta border to the color we can give color name hexadecimal color value we can use rgb function we can use a transparent value also already we have seen color name magenta i can say here red file save go to browser and refresh you can see we have a red border even we can use hexadecimal color value i say here hash ff 0000 that indicates the red color file save go to browser and refresh you can see there is no change we can give a green color 00 here i say ff file save go to browser and refresh now the border is of green color we can also use um, rgb function i say here rgb in bracket i give 255 comma 0 comma 0 that is going to be the red color file save go to browser and refresh you can see we have red border we can use uh, the green border by giving the 255 value in the second position file save go to browser and refresh we have the green color border we can also use the transparent value i say here transparent file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the border is transparent there is a border it is not visible only uh, it is hidden you can say it's a transparent border the none value if we give none value here it is going to remove the complete border itself whereas the transparent puts the border area color will be transparent that's it hope you guys have understood how we can use css border property to apply the border to an html element and various styles of the borders i suggest you people to try experimenting with the border property for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get some more information on css border properties for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial